Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the temperature sensor in a Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this incredible job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new temperature sensor. This temperature sensor is located in a fresh food compartment behind the duct cover at the top. It communicates with the main control board along the ladder to keep the desired temperature inside the compartment. If the temperature in the fresh food compartment is way too cold, way too warm, or simply won't stay within the desired range, the temperature sensor should be checked and replaced if needed. Open the fresh food door. The temperature sensor is located behind that grill. If you can see it, it's right in there. To get there, we need to remove this duct cover. We'll start with removing the upper shelf. Pull it out, lift it slightly, and then take it out. Pull the light cover down by holding it with these two tabs. Release the three tabs on the top and remove the cover. Reach in in the opening on the right. Press the locking tabs on the top of the two plugs here. And disconnect them. Remember that the blue one is on the left but uh, it's not that important because you cannot mix them up. They are different and they will only go in one way. Next, using the Phillips screwdriver, take out two screws at the bottom of the cover out. Swing the cover open and now it's held by two pins on the top. They are marked by arrows. And now we're going to pry it down with the using of a flat blade screwdriver. Carefully. See this side pin decide to stay inside the ceiling. So that's okay. Uh, if you save one pin, it would be sufficient enough to hold the cover. Let's bring the cover to the workable surface. And next we're going to remove the tape to expose the old sensor. Try not to destroy the tape because we're going to reuse it. I'm going to lift this off has a tape inside so slowly pull it out and I'm gonna leave it on the side like that. Now we're gonna use a flat lead screwdriver and cut the tape here and on this side and then we can remove this foam insulation. And just flip it open. And here the sensor. All right, I'm going to turn this wire up vertical. And then using the flat blade screwdriver, pry it out. That's the old one. This is the old temperature sensor next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Now we're going to install the new temperature sensor into the groove here. Push it into lock. And I'm going to bend the wire. And close that foam insulation. Then I'm going to install the duct. Pull it 
push it down so the tape at the bottom will glue back. And we are going to install this wire into the groove. And tape everything with all tape. ready to be installed. And now we can install the cover. First, the locking pin or locking pins if you are lucky. Push it up. It locks in. Then we can push the cover back. Now we can secure the cover with the two Phillips screws. Now let's connect the plugs. The blue one on the left. Now we're going to install the light cover. First, match those three tabs on the top with the cutouts. And then we're going to push the bottom in. And now we can put the shelf in. And now we can close the door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.